Alright, hey guys, welcome. Uh, so, I was just enjoying my lunch, watching some Chris Rock, and then all of a sudden I got a knock on the door, and this big box arrived. So I thought, I know what's inside of it, but I thought I would share the experience with you guys and show you what I just picked up. So, let's get into it. I think you can tell what this is by the looks of it, but let's open it up. I've been wanting for a really long time now to pick up a new keyboard. So, what kind of keyboard is this? Ooh, it's very cold. It's been sitting in a truck for a while. Alright, so this is the current keyboard that I've been using. As you can see, it's just an old generic Dell keyboard. It's actually from 2009. Um, and it's been great for me so far. Uh, n there's just nothing really special about it. Uh, the reason I want to replace it though is that I don't particularly like or enjoy these uh, low clearance keys. So, what I was looking for in a replacement was something more traditional, something more like, you know, the classic enhanced keyboard layout of the old IBM Model M's. So of course I went online and I started looking for used variants of the Model M and what have you, and uh, they're all pretty expensive. And as much as I love those old buckling spring keyboards, the reality is that I share space with my partner and we're both always on our computers and um, it gets to be kind of loud if you're clacking on a mechanical keyboard, which I had recently, one of the Black Widow Ultimates by Razer, which I uh, did a very thorough cleaning of and documented that whole process. I've yet to share a video on that, um, but those of you who are in the Discord may remember it from our PC Enthusiast channel. Anyways, this is what I picked up. It's a Lenovo board. It's called the Lenovo Preferred, and as you can see, it just has a very standard uh, keyboard layout. You know, all of the keyboards back in the day, uh, TM, <laughs> used to have this very standard layout. Um, the IBM boards, of course, didn't have the two Windows logo buttons on them, but everything else, the F keys, the, the, F keys, the numpad, it was all... Uh, a layout just as you see it here. So of course this unfortunately is not a um, buckling spring keyboard. It only cost me about $40 to buy and I picked it up on Amazon.com and you know it is actually more quiet than my previous Dell keyboard. And of course, I don't have any of the media keys on this one. I don't really have any need for the media keys. I've been using this old Dell keyboard for a really long time, and I never actually used those media keys at all. Um, so for me, it's more about the aesthetics and the feel and the silence of using a keyboard like this. And again, it is a membrane keyboard, so you're, you are missing out on the, you know, the tactile feedback but the key presses on this keyboard it's let's see you still know when you've bottomed out the keys aren't squishy at all they don't really move around much and yeah I just I really like this keyboard I just thought it looked really nice um, what else can I possibly say about this, guys? I just wanted to share this with you because I'm pretty stoked about it. I like the uh, the gray tones and the blue enter keys, the return keys on this keyboard as well. 
it's just kind of a you know really sturdy it's a workhorse keyboard it's it's a Lenovo you know it, Lenovo is kind of known for their sturdy um, office equipment so yeah it makes me think about like the old school IBM slash Lenovo think pads from back in the day those things were workhorses and just like the IBM Model M keyboards, uh, these keyboards, even though they're membrane keyboards, like this is going to last me a really long time. And uh, eventually when I have my own studio office space, I'll probably upgrade to something mechanical like I had previously, that Razer Ultimate uh, Black Widow, what was it, 2003? Uh, or excuse me, 2013 board. It had cherry... MX Blue switches on it, and I really liked those switches, um, and I really enjoyed the board. But there were a few things about it that bothered me, uh, but overall, it was a nice board. I think maybe I'll do a very standard typing test. You can get a sense of uh, the audio quality of the keys, because again, I did buy this keyboard with the goal of keeping the acoustics in my environment to a minimum. And this keyboard sounds a lot more quiet than the Dell keyboard I was working on. Nice and quiet. Perfect for an office space, which of course is what the Lenovo brand is known for. Alright, let's, let's do uh, a little bit more of a audio test here. Oh, and another thing I like about this Lenovo board is that it has this little groove for pencils. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't really know what you would need that for. Like, I guess that's for a pencil or a pen. Um, I mean, what else could it be for, right? You can collect things on there. Here. There we go. Can set up a collection, I guess. My Wookiee ball isn't gonna fit. Anyways, just goofing around. All right, so we're just gonna do a really short typing test uh, so you can get a sense of how these keys sound. So this is the Dell. And this is the Lenovo Preferred Pro. Now let's go over here and try this. Yeah, the keys on this new Lenovo Preferred Pro feel great. Um, they have a lot of bounce back. Nothing about this feels flimsy. Um, it's not much flex in the board. Feels like there's more flex on this old Dell. Both these keyboards are probably 
This Lenovo is actually probably uh, an older model of keyboard compared to this Dell. I'm not sure if there's a date on it on the back, but we'll take a look here. So for anybody curious, the model number is SK8825. Uh, yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we have the razors on the bottom there. This keyboard was actually supposed to come with a wrist rest and didn't seem to come with that, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm still pretty happy with the quality of this keyboard nonetheless. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That's about it for this keyboard unboxing. Uh, it's not really much of a review because I haven't spent any time with the keyboard so far. So what do you think of this keyboard? Do you think I'm absolutely crazy for buying an old school membrane keyboard instead of a, you know, a nice shiny Cherry MX keyboard? Maybe a new Logitech or... Corsair or one of the nice custom boards? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. But for now, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, for the most part, I'm happy how silent it is, since again, I'm in a shared workspace environment. So until next time, guys, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Maybe in a few months' time, I'll do another video uh, reviewing this keyboard properly after spending a bunch of time using it. All right, thanks again, guys. Peace. No one knows me like a piano.